one of my new project. One pound of clay, 25 different ways. Um, I really want to share with you the reason for this project. Um, each time I do a video project, I uh, have a, a purpose for it. 365 cups, which was the cup a day for a year, video project, um, ceramic pottery project. Um, the goal of that one was to actually learn how to throw on the pottery wheel. And since I'm alone in my workshop, I was hoping the community of people would share their insight, critique me, give me input, and uh, it was a beautiful project. That was just such a wonderful experience, meeting so many people that were knowledgeable. Um, that one was, uh, was great. And then the last project that I did was the 30 bowls, 30 days, 30 techniques, which I did a month ago. And that was to just test myself and get myself back in my studio, um, working on techniques that I think would be um, beneficial and a lot of them I hadn't tried before. Fun. That was a really fun project. Uh, and this project I realized um, after doing both of those in videos, I don't know how many people realize, but there is a lot of time invested on the work behind the scenes side where you're setting up the camera, taking this picture, that picture, that video, editing, clipping, uploading. Um, a lot of that kind of work stuff behind the scenes, which is not really creative as far as clay goes. So I spent less time actually doing the pottery, more time sharing it, which had its purpose because I wanted to have a community for myself since I'm alone in here. Well, going, I'm going to try and switch that up a little bit and have more time where I'm working with clay and thinking about creative um, things I'd like to try and a little less on the video side. So this will be the longest intro you will ever see because I'm not planning to do intros to the projects. Maybe I'll do something at the end after I've made it. But uh, I'm not going to be doing as much editing and, um, and whatnot for just this project. I may decide that it looks terrible and it will drive me insane. So I may need to actually spend more time. But the goal is to relax my mind and relax my brain and start being inspired. So here we go. Here are the details of the project. One pound of clay. This is a 25 pound cube, so I'm gonna break them into one pound pieces. I have a list here that I made of possible things I could make. I did one through 25. Am I gonna make all of them? I don't know. Am I gonna, like, let's say this, the bell. Let me give you an example. Maybe I wanna make a bell today. Maybe that's what I feel like making. So I go to make a bell and I have one pound of clay in order for my brain to get creative. I need to have a challenge to solve. Uh, I don't want to call it a problem, it's a challenge to me. So I have a challenge to solve the challenges, I have one pound and I want to make a bell and I can only use that one pound, no more, no less. So let's say I'm making a bell and I know I want an, uh, a little uh, attachment at the top and I want embellishments on the side made with clay. I'll pull a chunk of clay off of there, make the bell portion and then use my extra clay to embellish and, and do what I need to do. So I'm using exactly one pound. I think that'll get a lot of things um, working in my head for creativity. So uh, that that is the bottom line. There's not a whole lot of rules here except uh, that I need to keep it relaxing for myself and keep it simple and allow my creativity to come out so that I've turned the tables a little bit more towards the clay and a little less towards the editing. But I really wanted to stay with my community of people since I only have you and I don't work with a lot of people in the studio. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this project. I am really looking forward to it. Day number one is... I have no idea because I'm going to make it right now as soon as I shut this intro off. Uh, like I said, no more long intro videos. The longest one you'll see is right now. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to make my plate, um, <laughs> this was a boo-boo cup that I had made. See, the glaze didn't quite work properly. I still love it. It's my little Flintstone mug. goes with a teapot. But I got this for 50 cents at a yard sale. It's a small... Um, picture frame and I'm just gonna set it on here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with
you. So you get to see me thinking and creating at the same time. This is not happening quickly. Uh, but the video, I have to make it go by quickly or just be bored as I sit here pondering what to do next. I have this much clay left and I have the bowl. It theoretically could be stopped here. I still need to level these off. But I was thinking I could use this cookie cutter and actually make some solid round feet for it. This almost looks too big. Proportionately, I don't know, it might be interesting. But then again, if I still have clay left over, I can put a little ball or something on the bottom. So we'll just have to see.